Hello everyone, Stephen Clark here. I hope you're all fit and well with this wonderful coronavirus running around. So what do we got today? Don't let a good story get in the way of the truth. Now, the Prime Minister of Thailand released a letter to the 20 top richest people in Thailand. And the version put out by the media, completely different. Thai Airways to fly to Australia and New Zealand and return with Thai nationals. So all you Australian and New Zealand holidaymakers can relax, you're on your way home. Thai government looking at easing the current lockdown restrictions. Thai Navy decided not to torpedo the coronavirus and cancel a few submarines. And Johnny Siam takes us for a walk around Southeast Asia with some interesting stories. Don't let a good story get in the way of the truth. Priyat Achitachat sent out a letter to the 20 richest people in Thailand. Much has been said about Prime Minister Priyat Achinachat's letter to Thailand's 20 richest people requesting their input and ideas. When you hear the letter and see it, you'll understand why it's not begging for money. Now the media reported this incident, twisted it, rehashed it, and then made up stories. The modern world is going through a crisis with this Chinese coronavirus that nobody has ever seen before in the modern world. And of course, many countries were caught unprepared. Prime Minister Priyat Achinachat and the Thai people do not deserve to have the truth twisted by the media. And I don't agree with some things that Prime Minister Achinachat does and says. The Thai people and he does not deserve to have his stories twisted by the media. And that old saying, don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. The National, a Thailand website decided to post the real letter translated by them so let's take a look and a listen to what was actually said thailand is facing a covid 19 outbreak which is one of the gravest crises the country and the world have seen the disease has affected both social relationships and the economy at an unprecedented level now is the time for thai people to work together in all levels especially those who have strong knowledge abilities and financial resources. This is why I am reaching out to you, who are considered the elders of the society. I deeply appreciate that many of you have already helped people in several aspects, but I must ask you to do more. Please use your abilities and resources to help Thai people who are facing one of the biggest obstacles in their lives in the fastest and most effective manner. I don't ask for donations or handouts. All I ask is you send me details of projects that are ready to carry out. I also ask that those projects should reach all groups of Thai people and all parts of the country, as well as help them in any aspect of their lives in a tangible way. I also welcome suggestions as to how the government can help or facilitate those projects so they can succeed. I would be highly thankful if you would send me the details by next week. Please kindly consider my request and thank you in advance. General Priyat Achinacha, Prime Minister. So there you go. That was the rule that I sent out by the Thai Prime Minister. Very different to what some media reported. Some good news for stranded travellers in Thailand. Thai Airways will fly Australians and New Zealanders in Bangkok and return with Thais stuck in those countries. Thai Airways, in coordination with the Foreign Ministry and the Embassies of Australia and New Zealand in Bangkok, will fly tourists from Australia and New Zealand who have been stranded in Thailand back to their homelands. On their return flights, they will bring back Thais back to Thailand who have been stuck in Australia and New Zealand. The following flights are TG-475 will leave for Sydney from Sir Winnipeg Airport on April the 25th, while TG-476 will fly from Sydney to Bangkok on April the 26th. TG-491 leaves for Auckland on the April the 26th and TG-92 flies back to Bangkok from Auckland on April the 27th. In line with the Chinese coronavirus outbreak prevention measures put in place by the Centre for COVID-19 Situation Administration, 
What a mouthful. Ties returning from Australia and New Zealand must undergo their 14-day state quarantine, said Ties' second vice chairman and acting president. Cabin crew are required to wear protective suits, medical masks, gloves on board and are to monitor passengers with possible symptoms from taking off to landing. Each aircraft will also undergo deep cleaning. The foreign ministry, the Australian and New Zealand embassies in Thailand, as well as the Thai mission in Wellington, Canberra and Sydney, have jointly contributed to arranging these flights. Though Thai Airways has suspended all passenger flights, the courier continues to operate cargo flights in accordance with the government's policy to boost exports, imports and goods that generate corporate income and support Thailand's agricultural sector. Well, that's good news for some tourists stuck in Thailand. The Thai government will decide later this month whether to ease any of the economic restrictions in light of the decline in the new Chinese coronavirus cases, according to the Centre for COVID-19 Situation Administration. The Thai government spokesman said a decision regarding the curfew and business closures will depend on the situation ahead. The Thai government imposed nationwide curfew between 10pm and 4am between April 3rd and the 30th while provincial authorities have ordered various types of businesses to close over the period to combat transmission. With the number of coronavirus infections having fallen since the measures were put in place, many hope the government will ease the rule at the end of the month as we move closer to April the 30th. It depends on public cooperation and compliance. Even though the number of new infections is falling, we want a much more satisfying figure, they said. Now, responding to reports that some shopping malls are preparing to resume operations on May the 1st, the Thai government spokesman insisted that General Priyat, who chairs the Centre for COVID-19 Situation Administration, will evaluate the situation in the final weeks of April. The Centre Department store has informed its business partners and tenants to prepare for May the 1st reopening. The Centre for COVID-19 Situation Administration on Sunday announced 32 new Chinese coronavirus cases, bringing the national total to 2,765. No fatals were reported on Sunday. The number of accumulated deaths is 47, and a total of 1,928 people have fully recovered and been discharged from hospital. According to the Centre for Coronavirus-19 Situation Administration, a total of 33 provinces have reported no new confirmed cases of Chinese coronavirus outbreak over the past two weeks, from April the 5th to the 18th, while nine provinces remain completely free of the coronavirus cases. The Royal Thai Navy will slash its budget for 2020 by 33% or by 4.1 billion baht to help the government fight Chinese coronavirus outbreak. The Thai government has asked all ministers to cut their budget and contribute their excess to the central budget to help compensate the general public whose lives have been affected by the Chinese coronavirus outbreak or to be used in emergency situations. The Commander-in-Chief of the Royal Thai Navy therefore ordered the Navy to cut its budget for 2020 by 33% by 4.1 billion baht, which is higher than what the government has asked. Deputy Prime Minister announced on March the 30th that the government would cut back 10% of the budget dispersed to all ministries to create a central pool for emergency use. The Royal Thai Navy will also postpone the procurement of the Chinese built second and third submarine to 2021, although the purchase were to be made for Royal Thai Navy's own budget and not of the Ministry of Defence, he said. This also means other submarine related projects will be suspended too, such as the construction of the submarine bay and maintenance facilities, which in turn is not good news for the Chinese Communist Party's that the Thai Royal Navy is buying the submarines and facilities from. Other naval projects that will be affected by the budget cuts include anti-submarine helicopter overhauls, network database systems, training equipment procurements, and the construction of 64 units of apartments for Royal Thai Navy personnel. The Royal Thai Navy has committed to support the government in its efforts to combat the Chinese coronavirus outbreak situation and remedy those who have been affected by the outbreak, said a spokesman for the Royal Thai Navy. 
fantastic news from the Royal Thai Navy and for the Thai people. The Thai Armed Forces putting the Thai people first. Bangkok. A man prosecuted for defaming the king was found dead in an apparent suicide. The man was charged with cybercrime for allegedly insulting the monarchy on social media. The body of the man was found in a Bangkok canal. Police investigated and reported that there was no foul play. Myanmar State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi posted a photograph of herself hand sewing a face mask to inspire the people of Myanmar to make their own. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Sewing is a very handy little hobby to have and to put it to use in somebody in a higher place showing others where there's a will, there's a way and stitch by stitch make your own. Bangkok, nothing like having friends in high places. Or even better still when it's family. Prawat's brother and other military men dominate Thailand's tourism committee. They say there's nothing to worry about. They have everything under control. Now that's the way to get tourists, you know. Maybe they really understand. Or maybe they're going to go for the health conscious with boot camps. Who knows? But I'm sure that there was a few favours done there. But Prawat's brother also defended a very lucrative contract awarded to his son. So maybe it does pay to have friends in high places, or even better, when it's family. <laughs> Philippines, Baguio City. Love is a very strong emotion and can conquer and overcome many obstacles. As a couple in Baguio City proved with a masked wedding ceremony, mostly was a traditional wedding. But they had to skip the you may kiss the bride bit. And due to social distancing, the wedding night will be done with the use of social media, video calls. Anyhow, we wish happy couple all the best. Yanni out.